15 things you didn't know about Jared Kushner. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today's subject has spent most of his life trying to stay out of the spotlight while still making a serious name for himself in the real estate business. He is a real estate investor and developer, the owner of the New York Observer, the husband of Ivanka Trump, and now senior advisor to President Trump. Today we're talking about Jared Kushner. Jared was born on January 10, 1981 to Cyril and Charles Kushner. His father was a very successful real estate developer and the owner of Kushner Companies, which Jared would become CEO of at a very young age. The Kushner family is worth $1.8 billion, and Jared himself has a personal net worth of around $800 million. Although he had been a lifelong Democrat, Jared became deeply involved in the presidential race of his Republican father-in-law, Donald Trump, writing speeches, managing the social media campaigns, and often acting in the role of campaign manager. He now has a tremendous influence as a senior advisor to President Trump. Now that we've covered some background, let's get into the 15 things you didn't know about Jared Kushner. Number 1. He avoids social media and is intensely private. Jared is known to be a very private person. He does not have a Facebook account and seems to avoid social media altogether, with one exception. He joined Twitter in 2009 but has yet to post a single tweet. He follows about 40 people, most of which are family members or business connections, along with a few celebrities like Ashton Kutcher, Gary Busey, and Jimmy Fallon. Number 2. He tried to buy the Los Angeles Dodgers. At the age of 31, Jared attempted to become the youngest owner in Major League Baseball by putting in a bid on the Los Angeles Dodgers. The team was ultimately sold to an investment group that included former Los Angeles Lakers player Magic Johnson for over $2 billion back in 2012, which made it the largest sale for a professional sports team up to that point. Number 3. His father's legal troubles made him abandon his career goal of becoming a prosecutor. Jared earned a law degree as well as a master's degree in business administration from New York University in 2007. He had plans to become a prosecutor, but his father's arrest and prison sentence changed his mind. Jared's father, Charles, pled guilty to making false statements to the FEC, witness tampering, and tax evasion. After seeing how the prosecutor handled the case, Jared said he didn't think he could cause that kind of pain to families. The prosecutor who sent his dad to prison was actually New Jersey governor and former presidential candidate Chris Christie. Number 4. When his father went to prison, he took over the family business. Jared took over the family business much sooner than expected when his father was sentenced to jail time. He became the CEO of Kushner Companies in 2008 at the age of 27 and was immediately faced with the crash of the US economy, which his real estate business was greatly affected by. He kept the company afloat and made several notable real estate purchases, including 50% of the Times Square building for $295 million back in 2015. Number 5. He facilitated the most expensive single building purchase in New York City's history. In 2007, the Kushners bought the office building located at 666 Fifth Avenue in Manhattan for $1.8 billion, paying $1,200 per square foot for the New York City building. This made it the most expensive single building transaction up to that point in New York City's history. Jared was the one that signed the contract to buy the property. After the economy crashed in 2008, it was reported that Kushner lost at least $90 million on the deal. The Kushner Company is currently planning to replace the building bought with a $12 billion skyscraper. Number 6. He once broke up with Ivanka because of his parents. Jared and Ivanka went on their first date in 2007, and the relationship quickly became serious. Ivanka says Jared was the first boyfriend she ever brought home to her parents, and Donald Trump warmed up to him pretty quickly. But it was a different story when it came to Ivanka and his parents. They reportedly were very opposed to the relationship because Ivanka was not Jewish, and this was the primary reason the couple broke up in 2008. Wendy Deng, who was Rupert Murdoch's wife at the time, brought the two back together by inviting them for a weekend on her and Rupert's yacht, without telling them the other would be there. And the plan seemed to work perfectly. Ivanka agreed to convert to Judaism and the two were married in 2009. Number 7. He designed his wife Ivanka's wedding ring. Kushner worked with one of Ivanka's fine jewelry designers to customize an engagement ring from Ivanka's own jewelry collection. 
He popped the question with a 5.5 carat cushion cut diamond ring and the couple married three months later. Number 8. He and his family observe the Sabbath weekly. Jared is a modern Orthodox Jew, and one way he practices his faith is by observing the Jewish Sabbath, known as the Shabbat, between sundown Friday and sundown Saturday. During this time, his family refrains from using cell phones, email, internet, and TV, and are not permitted to travel except by walking. Jared and Ivanka had to receive a special dispensation from their rabbi to travel by car during President Trump's inauguration, and they also received another dispensation to travel by plane to Saudi Arabia in May of 2017 to accompany the president on his international trip. Number 9. His Grandparents Were Holocaust Survivors Jared's grandparents, Ray and Joseph Kushner, survived the brutal conditions of the Nazi occupation of Poland during the Holocaust. They immigrated to the United States in 1949 and established a construction company which would eventually grow to be the billion-dollar company the family operates today. The prestigious Ray Kushner Yeshiva School in Livingston, New Jersey is named after Jared's grandmother, and the Joseph Kushner Hebrew Academy in the same city is named for his grandfather. Number 10. He was accepted to Harvard after his parents made a very large donation. Jared graduated from Harvard in 2003 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in government. However, members of the administration of his high school said they were very surprised he was admitted because neither his grades nor his SAT score warranted his acceptance into an Ivy League school. There was speculation that he was accepted only because of the $2.5 million his parents agreed to donate to the university. This was the subject of a book written by Daniel Golden called The Price of Admission, which focused on unfair admission practices of elite universities favoring the wealthy and famous. His brother Joshua also attended the school. If you want to check out other places the wealthy go for higher learning, click on the upper right-hand corner to watch our video of 10 universities where super rich kids go. Number 11. Jared made around $20 million while still in college. While at Harvard, Jared developed real estate in Somerville, Massachusetts as the vice president of Somerville Building Associates, which was a division of Kushner Companies. He made a profit of around $20 million through buying and selling properties. Number 12. His family owns and manages $1.15 billion in real estate assets. The very successful Kushner Companies owns at least 20,000 apartments and 13 million square feet of additional property in six states. As CEO, Jared has focused on attracting creative companies and millennial-focused startups like Warby Parker and Etsy to rent his building space. Number 13. He was given a $10 million graduation present. After graduating from Harvard, Kushner bought the New York Observer, a newspaper that was losing about $2 million annually. Jared turned the paper around, dropping the print editions and moving to an all-digital format, making the publication profitable again. A close family friend says that the paper was a graduation gift from his family who paid $10 million cash for the publication. However, when Jared became a senior White House advisor, he passed along his publisher title to his brother-in-law, Joseph Meyer. Number 14. He and Ivanka are excellent matchmakers. Since Jared and Ivanka have found happiness together, they said they want to help make other friends happy too by playing matchmaker. Ivanka says they see how their friends' strengths and personalities and passions align and are able to successfully match them up. They have set up seven couples that have gotten married so far, and Jared has even officiated two of the weddings. Jared also offered to officiate the wedding of Morning Joe co-hosts Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski, but Mika was not interested. Number 15. Rosie O'Donnell wrote a poem about him and his wife. In 2016, Rosie O'Donnell saw Jared and Ivanka on one of their date nights at a restaurant. She did not recognize the two right away, but was inspired by the romantic way the couple interacted. She wrote a poem called Eight Million to One that described Ivanka as the most beautiful woman she has ever seen and Jared as having a calming charm. Rosie has an ongoing feud with Donald Trump, and the poem also spoke about how she confronted Ivanka at the restaurant and shared how her father's words and actions had affected her. Now that you know a little bit more about Jared, do you think he is an impressive businessman or was just lucky to be born into a successful family? Let us know in the comments. And here's a bonus fact for all of you Aluxers that are still with us. Before proposing to Ivanka, Jared went the traditional route of asking her father's permission first. 
Donald Trump said that he found the gesture adorable, and he called Jared a real sweetheart. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy. Or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.